Travis and Corey. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Travis. And I'm Corey. And we're the Brothers Who Brick. Now, we're talking about episode two, the Space Mask Challenge. You know what? I'm not going to say it. I'll let him say it. You don't smash Lego. <laughs> well, in this case, you do. He has attachment issues. As you can see, he still has attachment issues. Oh, I don't. <laughs> it's over, man. It happened. It's gone. We'll never see Degba again. What's Degba? Degba? Degba is Doomsday Apocalyptic Gravity Drop. So that was the name of our planet from episode two. Basically, the story was there were aliens on this planet. Their planet is about to erupt. The core is leaking elements all over the place. Now, the Earthlings came to the planet to save the aliens two ways. One, they brought a capsule to bring them out of the planet. And two, they stayed back to try to keep the core from melting down. But there is a clock that is counting down and nothing is stopping that clock. And when that clock hits zero, everything just come crumbling down. Well, because of Will Arnett, that is. And guess who we have imprisoned on that planet? We had aliens and humans in prison on that planet who were just criminals who made the core erupt. And so we had this beautiful story that was ready to be smashed to pieces. What was the best thing about that challenge when everything came crashing down? Hmm. I think it was because of the spacecraft was still intact after the smash. All the aliens survived and our craft was safe. It fell from such a distance and out of that rubble came the survivors which you guys did not get to see. <laughs> you have to understand, there's a lot of hours going into sure. building, yeah. and we can only show but so much during that hour. So yeah. let's touch on real quick a couple of the builds that we saw in that hour. Okay, so you can start. What was your, maybe your favorite build? What was the build that struck you the most? Or? Well, the build that struck me the most, to be honest with you, was, let's keep it real. Uh, no, we actually, yeah, let's keep it real. Manny and Nestor, Pops. I love their. I love what they did with those uh, rocket ships and how they had their planet shaped as a like a crater mm -hmm. or not a crater but like a asteroid. Yeah, I thought that was great. Yeah, brilliant. honestly. And the monster was inside. I believe was that the build. Yeah, the monster was inside. The tentacles were coming out of the planet. It, it yeah, told a story. Was... It was a. It was a movie cover to a epic horror space movie. Mm -hmm. I liked it. Yeah. Okay. I think. Um, I can't really decide. I think honestly, like you said, keeping it real, I think our build was the, my favorite build. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I'm not just saying it because literally that was probably the biggest. That was the biggest thing I've ever built uh, at this at that point, and it was just amazing. I think the story behind it, our teamwork, the way we were just so we were just so connected on that, and I just and I loved that build. But but the builds that did stand out to me, or little aspects of it, was Flynn and Rich. Um, their build had this little city to it. <laughs> I, yeah, I love the city. It was they, so they highlighted horrible. a little I bit. Loved, of it. Yeah, they yeah. did, and I love it. it. It reminded me of um, the, sol the solitude of the Fortress of Solitude, but uh, with Superman and all that DC mumbo jumbo. Um, it just reminded me of that, and I just love that aspect of their build. I like Amy, Amy and Crystal's build. Uh -huh. The lava and the whole a little bit morbid the scene, <laughs> you know, but a little dark. A little dark, a little dark for them too. But uh, I just love that whole how they got that going. That was pretty. Tyler and Amy, hands down, they honestly had one of the best builds. If not, well, they, they won that challenge. Won that challenge. They yeah. had the best build. It was clean. It was it was polished. Um, Tyler is an incredible builder. Tyler and Amy is an incredible team. Uh, it is nothing I can say or take away yeah. from them. They are they are really that great. Yeah. Um, and and then on top of that, like when we're done with the challenge, our floor is a mess with pieces and. There's just like, you know, they used everything. You know? like, yeah, they literally how did used they find, everything. We got the same amount of hours. How did they find the time? They found but the time. They found the time, man. They deserve that win. Absolutely. Uh, Boone and Mark. Boone and Mark had a pretty epic explosion oh to goodness. their build. <laughs> yes. um, they, I don't know if you guys saw it, but See, there are two little yeah, people sitting on the couch. The, the, everything yeah. was blowing up, and the screen it fell over them perfect. while they were just still sitting in the seat. It reminded me of that scene or that uh, that clip with the guy sitting in the chair and he's just getting blown <laughs> away and stuff like that. It's like Mountain Dew commercial. Well, 
No, 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 dude, it's an older commercial. Oh, okay. But yeah, I I love that. I love that so much. It was so great to see that. Um, awesome build. Awesome yeah. explosion. Awesome build. What about Aaron and Christian's explosion? Hmm. It was a little, it was a little, uh, I guess it wasn't what they were going for. I, I like, I love their build though. The oh yeah, oh that crescent gosh, moon. The, the crescent moon. The, the the sculptural aspect of that build was phenomenal. Yep. The explosion though, it wasn't so much. But I think they weren't really going for that kind of big boom. They were going for more of the empty space kind of explosion. So right. I mean, I think they did great. Still, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, definitely. They still we'll take held nothing, on to the brick. Which we'll take smart, nothing away. Yeah. Yeah, which was a smart, smart move. Um, who else? Mel and Jermaine. Legor. Oh my goodness, Legor. He was, Legor was the star of the show. Yeah. If Amy and Tyler made the best build, if we're gonna give the, the if we're gonna give praise for the most creative as far as character yeah. piece, Legor won, won that challenge. He might have won the whole show, honestly. Legor became the unofficial member of the cast. Let's, let's keep it real. Let's just, yeah. Shirts coming soon. <laughs> With the, uh, never mind, it's a family show. It's a family show. Um, Will and that seemed to like it, though. <laughs> it did. Uh, Kara and Jess? Yeah, the um, space station, I believe. Yeah. Had, uh, it fell apart before um, before they got to put on display to show everyone. Yeah. Uh, I was, I, this is a question in my mind. I wonder if they would have even been eliminated that challenge, you know? If they did. If, 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 if their bill was complete. Wow, so. yeah. Uh, something to think about. Absolutely. Uh, Jess and Sam. And Sam. They had the oh, they had the, uh, the cat. cats versus dogs. I love the movie Cats versus Dogs. So to see them put that in Lego form, yeah, it was it, yeah, it was it was amazing. It was spectacular. I, I feel like if they made that cat bigger, oh yeah, they would have been. Then I, I think that would have been something to marvel because mm. they they're very talented. They're very talented. But again, they're they're a team that's you know they're. They're catching their stride. They're 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 trying to find their footing, and once they find their footing, you know they're gonna be full steam ahead. You know, yeah. so. Uh, but all in all, I thought I thought everybody's build was pretty awesome. Yeah. I um, who else? Do we miss anybody? Or are we wasting time. I'm wasting time. All right. Everybody's build was great. I didn't like the episode because of the fact we were smashing bricks, and I am a Lego enthusiast. I am old school. We don't smash bricks. I am a Lego engineer instructor, a teacher, and I tell my students we don't smash bricks. You just gave them ammunition against me, Lego Masters. I hope you know that. My students are now trying to smash bricks and saying that it's okay because guess what? I allowed it to happen. I should have ran under and saved that. But then what if you got hit in the head with the bug? So what? That would be, that would be sacrifice. You could have made you like a, a Lego cyborg after that point. I, I probably would. Anyway, then you see you with a new teammate <laughs> the next episode. <laughs> Stunt double? <laughs> yeah. Like, this guy looks nothing like Corey. <laughs> like, what? what? <laughs> anyway, that was episode two. We enjoyed episode two. We enjoyed building. It was so much was fun. 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 The demolition was real. Oh, uh, man, if I had the piece, there is a Lego piece that I stole, I mean, borrowed. Borrowed. It's a steal now, right? It's the episode over. I borrowed this piece of a yellow brick that was blown so hard that it got indented on the side. Ridiculous. Yeah. But, all in all, great episode. Yeah, great episode. Remember guys, hit the like button, uh, smash the notification so you can see more of our videos. Until next time. Until next time. Peace. Oh wait, yeah, yeah we gotta do our sign off. Look at that.